Biofiltration Biofiltration most commonly used in RAS system. It is the method of removing harmful pollutants from the water with the help of some living microbes. Nitrification Biofiltration Ammonia is toxic. Feed wastes and feces of the crabs in the water are the sources of ammonia in mud crab farming. Nitrosomonas and nitrobacter grown in biofilters are used to reduce the harmful nature of ammonia. During biofiltration, the ammonia in the water gets converted into nitrogen dioxide and nitrate iron, which are less toxic. Before discharging the water, its toxicity must be measured. We must maintain it between 0 to 0 0.25 ppm. The goal of nitrification is to convert ammonia NH3 into nitrogen dioxide NO2 and NO2 into nitrate iron NO3. Implanting biofilter. To implant a successful biofilter, analyze the weight of the crab and its rate of mortality in your system. Biofilters are of high capital cost and it is expensive to maintain. These are tanks with enough surface area where the nitrifying bacteria are grown. It is necessary to provide adequate food and appropriate living condition for the bacteria to grow in the filter. It is also important to protect these bacteria from other harmful bacteria attacks. To enhance the filtration process, provide proper aeration aid est availability of oxygen. Calculating Ammonia Production TAN. Based on the type of feed that you are using in your system, the amount of ammonia and nitrogen production varies. Total Ammonia Nitrogen Production TAN, in the system is calculated based on two factors. 1. Feeding rate per day. 2. Protein content in the feed. The feeds that contain the protein are the source of ammonia and nitrogen. Trash fishes contain only 40 to 60 percent of protein whereas other feeds contain over 60 to 75 percent of protein. You can calculate TAN production in your system by multiplying the following values. TAN production kilogram equals feeding rate by protein content by wastage by nitrogen protein by TAN 1 gram and approximately in our system we are getting 0.16 grams of nitrogen per gram of protein and the TAN per unit of nitrogen is 1.2 grams. Based on these values, here we show you how to calculate TAN if you are using 10 kg of feed per day that contains 40% of protein then, TAN production kilogram equals 10 kg feed per day by 0.4 by 0.5 by 0.16 by 1.2 equals 0.384 kg per day. From this calculation, you can note that nearly 3 to 4 percent of ammonia is filled in 10 kilograms of feed. If you use the same amount of feed but with 50 percent of protein content, then the TAN production varies as TAN production kilogram equals 10 kilograms feed per day by 0.5 by 0.5 by 0.16 by 1.2 equals 0.480 kilograms per day. This type of feed contains nearly 5% of ammonia. The above calculations show that the amount of ammonia also increases when the protein content in the feed increases. The efficiency of biofiltration is based on the type of feed and the amount of ammonia in them. To control high ammonia production in water, stop feeding until the water quality gets back to its original value. Necessity of TAN for setting up a biofilter, it is necessary to calculate TAN to find biological surface area needed to set up biofilter, feeding rate per day, protein content and type of feed. Based on the need of the user, the TAN value differs whether they are growing the crabs or fattening the crabs. If they are fattening the crabs, then they have to feed up to 10% of crabs body weight it est 100 grams of feed for 1 kilogram of crab. 
Using this feeding rate and protein content in the feed, you can easily calculate the TAN value. Nitrification and salinity. The rate of nitrification changes based on the salinity of the water. It differs from fresh water to salt water. Note. High salinity reduces nitrification. In seawater, the rate of nitrification is 40% lower than in fresh water. Here, we have given you the VNR of both fresh water and seawater. Volumetric nitrification rate VNR of fresh water equals 1.1 C tan 0.7 by specific surface area SSA. Volumetric nitrification rate VNR of seawater equals 0.5 C tan 0.7 by specific surface area SSA. It is much important to implant the biofiltration process in saltwater condition as it has low nitrification rate.